simply goes up. Pike looking for two straight here after great fortune. Red light is on. Set. Racing. Classic Row got a good start. Manavendra dropped back towards the tail of the field. And Mount Nash is showing good speed. Also, Manhattan Strip is right up there as well. And just behind them, in good order. And Chris Parnham gets it into a beautiful spot. Santa Bray's on the march, caught out a shade wide. Then Civi Street outside of Ace Command. A length and a half simply, who's a little keen early back third last from Yelling Up Girl. And last of all is Manavendra. So down the back straight they go. And Mount Nash loves it out in front and leads the way from Manhattan Strip and Lucy Fiore on the outside. Classic Rogue the inside Santa Bray three wide in the centre is in good order. Yelling up Gilday's command. Sibby Street simply second last eight lengths away from the leader and Manavendra is back last of all over on the inside. So they've run off the back straight and they've got 850 metres to go. Mount Nash leading the way from Manhattan Strip and Santa Bray three wide. Classic Road in good order the centre Yelling up Girl out deep. Ace command next simply's on the move three deep. Gets onto the back of Yelling up Girl. Sibby Street in the centre and two to Manavendra coming to the home turn. Mount Nash has got the lead by one to Manhattan Strip. The outside is Santa Bray. Classic Road being needled at in good order. Travelled up nicely in fifth place in the centre. Simply pushed along by Pike but making ground out wide. Yelling up girl under pressure and then Ace Command in Sibby Street. Mount Nash has got the lead. Classic Road got an inside run. Manhattan Strip here's in good order. Coming down the outside. Simply is really struggling. In good order has swept up and dashed to the lead. Classic Road, the inside, simply winds up now with Manavendra, but it's all in good order, and Parnham sends it home. In good order is one from a photo finish, Classic Road, or simply on the outside. And then Manavendra, who did come from last, followed by Manhattan Strip, and back behind them was uh, behind them on the inside, Mount Nash from Yelling Up Girl, Ace Command, Santa Bray, and the last one home is Civvy Street. In good order. Number two is the winner. In good order, too good. Photo second, classic road or simply on the outside. And Manavendra picking up good ground into fourth place. But uh, in good order, had a beautiful run. Fifth one off, looked to travel really well on the corner. Simply was a fair way bat and Pike was getting busy on the corner. Eight's got second on the line from classic road. So two, eight, one and three. Two, eight, one and three. Fourth, fifth home was uh, Mount Nash, who ran okay after leading. He's getting back into some sort of form, and Santa Bray did it a little tough and fought on to finish sixth, but beaten a fair way. The winner in good order for Danny Morton, and I believe was just having its final run prior to a, a break. One and a quarter by nose of the margins. One and a quarter by nose. Eight, one, three and four. One thirty-seven, seventy-three. 34 and 72. So we'll head downstairs and uh, Lockie's having a chat with the winning con connections, including Dan Morton. Thanks, Rich. In good order, makes it back-to-back -back wins. Only a small cameo preparation. Three starts, two wins, and he's a horse that we all need to be keeping an eye out, heading towards the summer carnival and winning trainer Dan Morton joins me now. Dan, in good order. Gee, this horse has returned very, very well. Has it surprised you how well he's come up this preparation or is this what he's been showing you behind the scenes? No, we've always loved him, to be honest, um, and probably I've got a little bit of expectation on him, so uh, no great surprise. Beautiful horse. Hopefully, uh, like I've said before, hopefully he's just going to go deep into the spring for us now. Last preparation, when he was going through the autumn features, he was never far away. He was always knocking on the door of those big feature races. How has he furnished since then, and is he a different horse now? Yeah, I think that's been the key. Um, you know, he's running good races, but um, probably purely just on the ability he's got, not the, just needed to mature a little bit, which he is now. So, um, yeah, he's just developing into a really nice horse. With the benefit of the break that you'll now give him, what type of development can we see from him? I suspect he'll only be able to have a short break. Yeah, he'll only see a couple of weeks in the paddock, but the you know the weather's beautiful, so he'll. Um, we're just keen to stretch him out a little bit over ground too once he comes back around. So uh, yeah, looking forward to Ascot. Is there a potential that what we're seeing now is just a bonus? That the fact that he's won twice in a row now at the mile, we could even see a better version of Ingold Order when he eventually gets out over 2,000 and beyond. Uh, hopefully, you know you still got to keep raising the bar for him. He'll meet you know better company come Ascot time. So. Um, He's got to keep taking the next step himself, but I feel like he can, yeah. The Sable is clearly going well. Another Chino. You'll saddle him up in tomorrow's Boulder Cup. When does he head to Cal? 
Uh, yeah, he'll be overnight travelling up there. So, um, yeah, he, I liked his run in the Coolgardie Cup there a couple of weeks ago. And I think whatever he does tomorrow, he'll see a you know, fit a better horse in the Kalgoorlie Cup. So, looking forward to it. Good luck tomorrow and well done on this win. Thank you. There's Dan Morton after the win of In Good Order, a horse that continues to just raise the bar, Scott. He's come back in fantastic order. Chris Parnham has a terrific association with him. And Chris Parnham just continues to boot home plenty of winners. It's a treble on today's program to continue his fantastic form in the saddle. Certainly is this horse. He's going to go right through his grades. He's got, won a graduation, now a 66. He'll go out and then they can aim him up at something bigger and better and they've still got plenty of room to work their way through the grades as well. I think he was a 73 rater going into today so he probably comes out on the other side of it at 77 so lots more to come from this horse definitely worth following and he's uh, joining me now Chris Parnham after the victory of In Good Order. Chris at the top of the home straight it looked like you just needed to get out and around heels and he would do the rest. Yeah absolutely he's a really nice horse um, made good progression each run this preparation and um, yeah, I'm really excited to see what the future holds for him. And he was saying the future sounds like a uh, back-end carnival heading towards potentially a Perth Cup. Does he give you that impression? Yeah, um, you never know. Uh, he's winning really well at a mile. He ran good up to the 2400 last prep in the Derby. So, yeah, who knows? He might, he might end up in a race like that. But um, at the moment, he's just going through his grades nicely and it's, it's nice to be on board. I suppose one of the best parts about his win today is that you're able to hold a spot early. Yeah, he held a spot pretty comfortably, drew well, and um, didn't have to ask him too much to be there. Um, and he relaxed good and showed a devastating turn of foot up the straight. What about Mean Machine in the last? Yeah, he's a, he's a lovely horse. Uh, still, Penny probably still hasn't dropped with him, but um, I think he'll, he'll, he'll make the grade, and um, today looks a nice race for him. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. There's Chris Parnham. Terrific day for him in the saddle. That's a treble now for Chris, and he combines with Dan Morton and in good order to take out race number eight here at Belmont Park as our attention now once again heads to Mount Magnet for the feature of the card, the Austin Medals Mount Magnet Cup over 1,800 metres. And our favourite is Bar Time at $3.20 with Lautre at $3.80, Butterly Lad at $4.40 and a Magic of Zeus at $8.50 and Slizer Fox at $9.50. Riley Morgan, how did you order them in the feature of the day? Well, we might start off with Bar Time, Lockie, who no surprise to see the betting support for this galloper given the uh, success that the combination of both Banovic Edwards and Brett Pope has had today. He's got the most natural ability in this field, I think, comfortably, but can he, A, handle the dirt and, B, see out the 1,800 metres? He had a run on the dirt at Robe and three back but had excuses there, so it's still inconclusive whether he does or doesn't handle the dirt. I expect with his tactical speed, Bo will try to roll forward as she has done with all of Brett Pope's runners at Mount Magnet today and lead here. And the fascinating part of the race will be how he responds when a few of these more seasoned stayers really up the tempo and a bit further out from home than what he's used to. So I think he's a genuine winning chance, but I'm going with the one Budley.